we are now going to talk about how combining the constructs we talked about last time can make things really, really complicated. Nested code is harder to understand, and doing more inside nested code compounds how much effort it takes to hold everything in your head. As a quick example, let's consider this for loop. Pretty simple, isn't it? Just add the numbers 0 to A together. By adding a loop inside the for loop, we haven't made the code impossible to understand, but it's certainly harder to understand which numbers will be added together, isn't it? If we take something a bit more interesting, you can see how the cognitive complexity score is impacted. This bit of code adds a series of prime numbers together, and you can see how the nesting is making it quite complicated to understand. Now, if you take a slightly ridiculous example, you can see that if you're doing looping or branching inside other loops and branches, the complexity and the matching cognitive complexity score ramp up really fast. This makes sense because you're having to hold a lot of stuff in your head to understand what is going on. The challenge here is to spot which bits of this function are really causing you pain and working out how to rework the code into something easier to understand. Understanding how the scoring works will help guide you on where to focus your time.